Yeah. And what was the occasion? And the occasion was that when Ja'far al-Tayyar, God be pleased with him, came to Medina from Ethiopia, he made his hijrah now to Medina, you know he made the hijrah to Ethiopia during the Meccan period. And he doesn't come alone. He brings with him a whole contingent of Ethiopian converts, among the first Africans to come into Islam. Bilal, of course, was also an Abyssinian. And do you think they love the Prophet? They can't control themselves. They love him so much. And they fast the whole month of Ramadan. And they're in heaven, and so would you be. Right? And then on the day of Eid, they just do an Ethiopian thing. They get out their swords, they get out their spears, they get out their drums, they begin to beat their drums and dance sword dances and spear dances in the mosque. Not outside, in the mosque. And Umar al farouk he was a big, tough person. You don't mess with him. Very big, very tall, very strong. He didn't like that. He said, what are you doing? You know? And so he said, stop it. And then the Prophet then he said, take it easy, Umar. Take it easy. Don't frighten them. And he said, play your games, Banu Arfidah. Play your games, Ben Arfida, so that the Jews and Christians know that we have ampleness in our religion, that our religion is not rigid. And also so that they know that Ethiopians can be Ethiopians. You don't have to become Arabs. You be Ethiopians, and you dance, and you have drums, and you have swords, and so forth. Okay, so this is an incredible hadith. And then they continued to dance. They were still a little bit frightened about it by Allah. <laughs> but the Prophet said, no, just take it easy. And then he lifted Aisha up over his shoulders. And she put her cheek next to his. And she watched and watched and watched until she got tired. And they said, okay, I want to get down. And they just went on and on and on. They were delighted. And a lot of people are like that, aren't they? A lot of Africans dance. That's what they do. Drums and dance. Go to a wedding, and maybe you won't like it, but they dance, okay? And uh, this is part of their culture. And of course, you want the dance to be good. You don't want it to be sexually beyond the limits, okay? And they don't do that. In fact, the women dance with the women. That's what it is. And then the men dance with the women, but they dance. Leave the Ethiopians alone. Let them be Ethiopians. Let the Chinese be Chinese. They don't have to become Arabs. We don't even want that. Although if you go there today, you will see groups that like, get rid of these Chinese mosques. We're going to have a mosque like we have in our country. Change those clothes. You're going to look like us. And that's culturally predatory. And you're destroying their whole culture. And that also puts them in danger in the eyes of the Chinese. Because they become alien. You don't tell African American Muslims that you've got to become Arabs. No, you be African Americans. You be proud of your past. And you build on that past. 